today we're going to be making homemade buns. And this recipe only has seven ingredients. So, I have everything measured out. So we have our wheat, our flour, and these bowls right here. Next, we'll be using one cup plus two tablespoons of warm water. Then we have our yeast, two tablespoons. Sugar, we're gonna be using one quarter cup of sugar. Salt, we're gonna be using a half, a half teaspoon of salt. We have oil, you can use whatever oil you like. One third cup oil plus one egg. All right, so those are our ingredients today. So let's get started, but before, we gotta make sure we wash our hands, get all those germs off. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is preheat your oven. So you're gonna go over to your oven and you're gonna set it to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Perfect. So while that is warming up, we will start doing our ingredients and start mixing it up. So we're gonna do our warm water. And for your water, you're not gonna want it too hot um, because it won't reactivate the yeast. So you're gonna want warm water. You can use room temperature or cold, but it takes a slower time for the yeast to activate. So I would use warm water for the same thing. Then we're gonna add our sugar. our oil and then our yeast perfect so next we'll just give it a quick stir stir it up make sure it's all nicely mixed So this is what you're gonna to wanna to do, is you're just gonna to want to give it a good mix. All right. So next, it says to yeast, you're gonna want it to let it stand for 10 to 15 minutes. So we'll just set it aside. If you haven't measured out your flour, this would be a perfect time to do so. See you guys back in 15 minutes. Okay, so 15 minutes have been up, so this is what your bowl should look like. So it's been activated, should be bubbly and foamy. So that means we can go on to our next step. So now we got our yeast ready. We're gonna mix our salt, our eggs, and our two cup of flour. So first we'll do our salt. Then we'll mix in our egg. Now, we'll mix it into our flour. So we'll pour our flour into our egg mixture. Make sure we get all of that leftover flour out. Next, we're gonna mix it up. And you're gonna want to make sure that all the flour is mixed up so you don't see any leftover dry flour bits in it. So once we got our two flowers, two cups of flowers in, we're gonna, we have this leftover flour from the beginning. So we're just gonna add a little bit to each time. So, then we're gonna mix it up. You don't wanna add it all in right away because then it gets a lot harder to mix it. So just add a little bit in each time. There you go, that's looking a lot better now. Add a little bit more. Mix it up. All right. And you're, if you're finding it hard, 
to mix it with the spoon, I also just suggest using your hand. So you can use your hand, press in the dough, scoop the flour in. Makes it a lot easier. And if you have little kids at home too that like to get their hands in and a lot of stuff, this would be a great time to get them involved. If they can help mix everything. All right, so it's still sticking to my fingers. So we're just gonna add a little bit of extra flour because we don't want it to stick to our fingers. want your dough to be not sticking to your hand but you don't want to work it too much if you work it too much what's going to happen is the dough is going to be a lot harder to maneuver so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it onto the countertop it's a little bit easier to knead it right in Let's check on our dough. Let's see if it's ready. So it's not sticking on my finger and when you press into it, it should rise back up. Perfect. So it's ready to be mold into our buns. So what I usually like to do when I'm molding into buns, I like to make a circle size with my two fingers pinch around it and just pinch, pull it apart. Let's grab our tray right here and just go like that. So let's do it to the rest of our dough. Taylor, I hope to see you again. 
Uh, we will be having more videos coming up soon, so keep an eye on us. Check our Facebook page and our, and our YouTube channel for more videos. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.